Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Purdue. It is so great to see you tonight. We have a great night in store for you, I have to say. Um, here at Convos, we have been so happy to be back in our spring in theater season. It's been made possible in part by because we've all agreed to wear masks. I've got mine off here just because I'm at the safe distance for the moment. But thank you for participating in the uh, Protect Purdue Pledge. Uh, we're working to uh, get back to normal as quickly as we can. But thank you for helping us uh, get to this part. We'll get there. We'll get there. Um, so uh, Emmett Cohen was here in... April of 2019 uh, as support for uh, the great Veronica Swift right here on this stage. Were, were any of you here uh, when, uh, for that show? All right, yeah, so you know partly what we're getting into tonight, but unfortunately that COVID thing happened and artists had to start to do creative pivots. And I have to tell you, I can't really think of too many creative pivots that were um, as profound and powerful as what Emmett Cohen did with his Live from Emmett's Place. That's right. Let's uh, hear by applause how many Monday Night Watchers we've got in the house. All right. That just warms my heart, you know. Uh, we just felt like it was such a great opportunity to help support artists because the ecosystem collapsed during COVID and it just made it possible to uh, have these artists keep playing and so uh, thanks to you and your support of Convocations, we were able to help support them and keep things rolling. So it was an amazing, amazing journey and special outcome for us all. So uh, the, the guys and uh, Mary Stallings arrived earlier this week. We've had residency activities, performing in the community, uh, a clinic for Purdue Jazz Bands, go Purdue Jazz Bands. And uh, it was just so, so great to have these amazing musicians connect with our Purdue students. So, uh, you know, the... the Ensemble has been so generous with their time, and we're, we're super grateful for that. Speaking of, uh, yeah, let's, you have to applaud that because it's not a given. It's not a given. So I have some special thank yous because uh, this work uh, really benefits from the support of our community. So tonight we've received support from University Place as well as the Union Club Hotel, plus we have a special interest group at, in the Friends of Convocations called the Piano Giving Circle. And these are folks that have gathered around uh, the fact that we received this amazing Steinway as a gift from Janet and John 9 in 2014. And we have been programming piano-based works with extra enthusiasm ever since. And the, the Piano Giving Circle help us, helps us make that happen. So uh, the Piano Giving Circle has supported tonight along with uh, additional gifts from Janet 9. Bob and Patty Truitt, and the Truitt Piano Performance Endowment. So let's give these folks all a huge round of thanks. We're so grateful to all of you. It's very special. And of course, we also have, uh, there's another company that helps take us take care of the artists. And uh, with this engagement, I want to offer a special thanks to uh, Rochelle in a handbasket at Market Square. Uh, if you uh, need gourmet chocolates, gift baskets, and all of that thing, Rochelle will take care of you. So Rochelle, thanks so much. <laughs> a brief program note. Next week, our first Broadway production of the year uh, cranks up with Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Love to have you come for that. And our next Piano Giving Circle event is with the Italian pianist Beatrice Rana. Uh, she's from Italy, and we are thrilled to be able to land a date on her U.S. Uh, tour. So don't miss that in the beginning of March. All right. Emmett's going to come out and say hello after the show out at the merch table. He'd be thrilled to say hello and, and greet all of you. And I have a special opportunity. This is, this is some really wonderful news. Uh, you know, even though we've got masks on, jazz is especially interactive, and I invite you to, uh, what you give, you're going to get back in spades, but it's even more important tonight because we have a special treat. This performance is being recorded uh, to be broadcast later on a Monday night uh, when Emmett's out on tour, so this Purdue engagement's going to go down in live from Emmett's Place history, so you're a part of something special right now. Okay. Great to have you here. Let's make some noise for Emmett Cohen Trio and the Emmett Fly from Emmett's Place All-Stars.
Thank you very much. Welcome to Emmett's Place, Purdue. <laughs> Kyle, Kyle's drinking out of the same glass that we have at our house, so. <laughs> um, thank you so much for having us. This is uh, the first um, event like this of its kind, bringing, uh, bringing this show on the road. And we have such a special collection of musicians that this is a very unique um, assembly. Um, and we're excited to see what happens. Uh, but I'd like to introduce the core trio uh, for the past nine years in New York City and, and, and beyond. <laughs> On the bass from Kingston, Jamaica, uh, one of the, the, the great bass innovators of our time, you'll see him playing with the tuning, you'll see him playing with the time, you'll see him playing with the space. Uh, he is one of the greatest layers of the foundation for our music and uh, allows a lot of uh, new things to be created on top every time we play together. I'm surprised, after nine years, he still comes up with some new stuff every time. He's one of the most creative musicians in the world. That's Mr. Russell Hall. <laughs> From Los Angeles, California, on the drums. Uh, he's always been a leader in New York City. Um, one of the, the people that we all look to to find the joy in this music. Um, he is, uh, has a rare trait of, of approaching jazz from a place of happiness and a place of hope um, and, a, and a place of, of yearning for better times and to uplift everyone around him. And that he does every time he plays the drums. He plays from his heart. Uh, one of the most sensitive but dynamic drummers in the world, that's Mr. Kyle Poole. <laughs> and we'd like to welcome out uh, two of the, of, the, of the tremendous voices on their respective in instruments. First, on the alto saxophone from South Florida, uh, one of the greats of our time, this Mr. Patrick Bartley Jr. <laughs> And representing the Bronx, New York, one of a kind, uh, someone that we've, we've all learned from over the last 10 years in New York City, someone who brings all of the stuff I mentioned and more every time he hits the stage, the one and only Mr. Bruce Harris. <laughs> The first tune we played was from the musical Oklahoma, entitled Surrey with a Fringe on Top. That second one was from a Miles Davis record, Birth of the Cool, a composition by Jerry Mulligan called Venus de Milo. And uh, we'd like to continue now with the quintet. This is an original tune called Harlem Shuffle. Thank you.
Bruce Harris, Patrick Bartley, Kyle Poole, Russell Hall.
Patrick Bartley. Bruce Harris. Uh, yeah. <laughs> After Patrick Bartley plays, you just, you just say, yeah. <laughs> There's no words needed. Um, these, these musicians were so integral in creating what we uh, ended up making at, at, at our apartment this year. For those of you who don't know, we, we decided to play in the apartment when everything shut down, uh, mostly because we needed to play. And uh, it was something we tried to, <laughs> something we tried to put together for the community um, and welcome in uh, musicians who weren't scared to lose their lives to, you know, no. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, it, was, it, it, it really harkened back to uh, 100 years ago in the Roaring Twenties when it was post-pandemic and you weren't allowed to get together because of prohibition, you weren't allowed to drink and do all these things. And uh, the, you know, the music kind of supersedes everything else and we decided to uh, put the music in front of everything else and bring it to the people all over the world. And it was this Harlem Rent Party that we started to do uh, from our house like 100 years past, uh, just virtually this time updated. And I think that's the thing about jazz is that it, it, stays, uh, it stays the same and it interacts with people um, in the current time. And just like it exists in a concert hall or in a, in, in a speakeasy where people are having a drink and chatting or in a dance hall where people are dancing uh, or an art gallery where there's just photos and, and paintings on the wall and the music exists it's just one more place that it exists and continues to enrich people's lives and I thought that was a very special thing that we discovered and these two musicians uh, Bruce and Patrick were were the early adopters of, of coming over and, and just making it happen and uh, I can't thank them enough for that and we have a very special guest with us today, um, tonight, someone who we, we, Russell and Kyle and I play with once a year at Dizzy's Club Coca-Cola. Oh, it's not Coca-Cola anymore, it's just Dizzy's Club. They, they dropped the, the drink on the end. <laughs> it's just Dizzy's Club and we do our, our annual engagement there and usually we have to wait um, in between our, our meetings. Uh, but we had this tremendous opportunity through, uh, through Purdue, making it all possible. And, you right? Give it up for Purdue. And she hails from San Francisco, California, came a long way to be here. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of plane time and travel time to be here uh, tonight, um, but she said she really wanted to be a part of this tonight. And, and uh, she also came up to our apartment and played with us there after we did our run at Dizzy's in December and has been a very special part of our lives and, and a spiritual grandmother to all of us. Um, and I can't thank her enough for coming out here. She's one of the great singers of all time. Please put your hands together for Miss Mary Stallings. <laughs> I can only give you country walks in springtime And a promise to be near when you call I'm the only heart I own for you and you alone That's all I can only give you love that lasts forever And a hand to hold when leaves begin to fall And love whose burning light Will warm the winter night 
I thank you so much. I'm, you guys got to know I'm knocked out by being up on the stage with these wonderful, young, great musicians. Yeah, I'm blessed. Yeah. 
I would even say, you know, as we're the elders, but you know, these, these young cats, uh, young folks, well, we call it cats in our day, huh? <laughs> if you don't mind, I can let me use my language, okay? <laughs> so uh, we came along, you know, at a time, but uh, I thought that, you know, we, we thought the music was not gonna be living when you get, would live uh, this long, but uh, we have this new generation is this kicking. I look, I listen to YouTube a lot and then try to keep up with all the young people that are doing things and there's so much going on. But this is the cream of the crop right here. <laughs> <laughs> this is truly the cream of the crop. And I wanna let you know, I am grateful. <laughs> yeah, and to be their grandmas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. So we're going to continue. <laughs> what was that? What was it? Well, anyway. Your time is up. Oh, my time is up? <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. But anyway, we're going to continue on and give you a tune that's off of my, well, I don't have it with me, but off of my latest CD, a tune entitled Close Your Eyes. your eyes rest your head on my shoulder and sleep close your eyes and I'll close mine close your eyes when you open them dear I'll be near by your side why don't you close your eyes Romancing is a love's holiday And love will be our guide Close your eyes When you open them near I'll be near by your side Why don't you close your eyes Thank you. 
Thank you so very much. We're going to change the pace and give you a tune, uh, kind of, I guess, kind of obscure, uh, Cole Porter tune. Here we go.
This next tune we're going to do is one of uh, classics of uh, Dizzy Gillespie's um, Night in Tunisia. Thank you. 
That's all, folks. taking a breath myself for that. <laughs> We're going to continue on by uh, doing one, a song that I've done for many, many years in many different ways. But I decided to slow it down and discovered how beautiful it could be. It uh, talks about the soft, well, I guess it's all right. Anyway, soft line. Um, check the lyrics. <laughs> you get the idea what the song's all about. Cradle me with southern skies And watch me with a million eyes Sing me to sleep Lullaby of the leaves Of the leaves Cover me with heaven's blue And let me dream A dream or two Sing me to sleep Lullaby of the leaves Grazing along, along with the breeze Hearing a song, a song through the trees Caressing the shore Familiar to me I've heard it before my goal Sing me to sleep lullaby of the leaves
That's the incredible Mary Stallings. One of the greats of all time. Uh, we'd love to thank everyone in West Lafayette and greater areas, uh, including Indianapolis. I found a home um, here in Indiana over the past 10, 12 years. For those of you who don't know, there's an organization called the American Pianist Association. <laughs> and I've been part of their competitions for almost 10 years. And uh, I was fortunate enough to, to, to win the prize in 2019. <laughs> <laughs> So they had me in residence at uh, University of Indianapolis for, for two years, and I've played many times, we played many times at the Jazz Kitchen, and uh, it's, Indiana is my most visited place in the world, I think, which is, which is crazy. Uh, <laughs> uh, and affiliated, affiliated with the American Pianist Association and one of the great uh, supporters of, of classical and jazz music in the world, I would say, and, and, and of us, uh, Miss Janet Nine helped tonight make tonight possible. So thank you, Miss Janet Nine. She also, she also helped uh, Purdue get this beautiful piano, this, this Steinway, but we call it the Nine Way. Yeah. <laughs> Played it many times, and it's such a beautiful instrument, so uh, that's always a pleasure. Um, also, everyone else at, uh, at Purdue Convocations, uh, Purdue was, was extremely supportive of us during the pandemic and sponsored uh, 10 or 12 live streams on Monday nights from our house. Uh, so they believed in us then, and, and to be able to come and bring it live here kind of completes the full circle experience. <laughs> So we, we, we will be coming back here often, I hope. Uh, <laughs> and uh, for those of you who want to stay in touch, we still play uh, when we're in town on Monday nights. So check out the YouTube and the Facebook. And there is a mailing list. There's a couple of CDs outside for sale. But most of you probably already have those um, <laughs> because we come so often. But thank you for, for your, your support. It does mean the world, and uh, we, we 
make the world a slightly better place together through this music and through, through the community that it serves. So that's the beautiful thing. One more time, that's the great Bruce Harris on the trumpet. The one and only Patrick Bartley Jr. on the saxophone. Russell Alexander Hall on the bass. Brother Kyle Poole on the drums. <laughs> My name is Emmett Cohen on the piano. Thank you. And let's hear it one more time. One of the great jazz musicians, musicians period, American musicians, a national treasure. We're so lucky to have her with us tonight, the great Mary Stallings. <laughs> We're gonna play one more for you. This is about New York. Thank you so much and we'll see you soon. Take 
along the main street Anywhere I don't care You can always find the main street Just another plain street Broadway, Broadway Take a little time out for play Where the jog is living for sway Up and down Broadway Russell Hall, Emmett Cohen, Mary Stallings. <laughs>